This is a Brother KH910 knitting machine. The thread yarn into it and each pass of the carriage across produces a row of knitting down here in the front. These machines were designed and manufactured in Japan. Uh, this model dates from the early 1980s. As well as plain knitting, it can do some quite fancy patterns, which were controlled by this control panel here. A uh, row of switches, uh, three digits of seven segment displays. The pattern itself was entered via these optical cards. So in later models, that part too was replaced uh, and became fully electronic. Now, what we're going to be doing is not using the optical card anymore and also physically removing the entire control unit on the, on the left there. We'll be replacing it by an open source hardware and software project called uh, AAB, All Yarns Are Beautiful. Uh, AAB was designed by a team in Germany in 2014. There are user groups for it on Facebook and Ravelry. We're going to be removing this left hand end section, just have to undo a few screws and lift it out carefully so we can uh, unplug this row of connectors. The replacement hardware comes in two different formats. First is a shield which fits onto a standard Arduino Uno. And notice the uh, four copper wires at the top there. They're needed for the connection to the knitting machine's internal power, which is still required to drive the uh, solenoids, which are part of the patterning mechanism. Today we're going to be using the alternative physical layout, this one known as the interface. Mine has some connectors over here for some other models of knitting machine. Uh, the ones we'll be using today for the 910 are these three over here on the right. And instead of a separate Arduino, we have this uh, Metro Mini from Adafruit here, which will run our Arduino code for us with its USB connector here. The interface version does not use the knitting machine's internal power to run the solenoids. Instead, it has a, a connector here for an external 9-volt uh, power brick. We'll tuck that power connector out of the way. Plug our cables S2, S3 and S5 in over here. Tuck a couple of other unused ones out of the way. And S7 over here on the left, which goes to the hall sensor in the knitting machine. There is a 3D printed cover available, but for today I'm just going to leave it sitting like this with a piece of cardboard in to make sure it doesn't short out on a metal piece in the back. On our computer, we're going to need a driver so it can recognize the Metro Mini to run our Arduino code. The reminder that the driver we're installing here is for the interface with the long board on the left there. If you instead have the uh, shield version on the right, you can go to arduino.cc to find the drivers. Go to this page from SI Labs, click on the Downloads folder, find the one for your operating system, Download the installer, unzip it, launch it, and follow its instructions. This is the actual installer. We're just working our way through the prompts. In this place where it says it may take several minutes, believe it, yeah, mine did take quite a while. And the success message. And so that's it for the driver. Back to the AAB software itself, which is the same whether you're using the interface or the shield. And so the Get AAB menu, AAB software, and then you end up here where you can download for Windows, Mac, or Linux. When we're doing Mac, we'll download the DMG file. We expand it in your Downloads folder, drag the ball of yarn icon onto the Applications folder, and that's it. And you can now launch AAB.app from your Applications folder. As usual, on the very first launch, you might get one of these warning dialogs. Just go ahead and open it. If we have our hardware connected and the driver installed correctly, we should now see something in the port selection box. On Windows, it's a COM number. COM can be COM4, COM9, mine is COM10. And on Mac and Linux, it's this string starting with slash dev slash cu. And the last stage of these one-time steps is to flash the firmware. It's from the tools menu in the AAB software. You select your machine, Uno, and the current version. Click flash, it takes about five or 10 seconds. This has loaded our Arduino program into our hardware. Some lights flash on the board itself during the flashing process. 
And then we'll be ready to load up our image and knit. You're going to want a place to store the images that you're going to knit or have knitted. I made this folder called AAP Images in my Documents folder. Also made a shortcut over here on the left. Also copied in this batch of samples that ships with the product. Where the installer puts them isn't the most convenient and I've copied the samples here. Inside the AAP software the first thing you normally do is load an image file. Samples from inside the app are the first thing to show up. Usually you'll want to go to a folder of your own either in documents or what I'm doing here which is uh, straight to my shortcut for AAP images.